All right, late last night I came down, and uh, about one o'clock in the morning, I think it was, and uh, I was thinking about the hair and how I'd have it. It's going to be long hair. It's not going to be braided. I think long hair is more feminine looking, uh, certainly better for design. And so I just put a couple of strands. The front edge of the uh, hair would come down and around behind her ear on this side and then kind of fan out over her shoulder. And this bunch of hair here, the front of the hair would come down like this and fan out over her back. And that's what I'm thinking. But I'm going to remove that because what I'm going to do today is work on her dress. And uh, because I can't do anything that way until I get this going. But I also got to work on that neck. And so I'll be right back when I get ready to start that. Time to play with some clay. Also, I got in contact with Michael Terry, uh, Michael Badhand. Um, he's a uh, Native American reenactor who has spent his life researching the Native American history and their customs, their clothing, um, their religion, everything. Uh, he's had several shows on... Uh, TV, uh, History Channel, I think, or someplace around there. I think, uh, oh gosh, there was a series called Something Warriors. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, he's also uh, modeled for me in the past. Uh, he's hired uh, Crow Indian models to pose for me in, in authentic uh, clothing that would have been of different tribes like the Blackfeet and the Crow and the... Uh, the uh, well, any tribe you want, a Comanche, uh, he has clothing to match the uh, subject matter that you want. And he's been a model for just literally hundreds of uh, incredible artists, uh, top Western artists uh, of all time. And uh, he's an, actually a national treasure far as I'm concerned, but he told me that uh, the Blackfeet women did not use combs. What they used were um, actually the tail of a uh, porcupine, and they would have a stick going up through the tail, like stiffen it, and that's what I've created here is a stick out of a copper tube that I've flattened out. And she'll be holding it in her hand here. And the mirror, I've got a photograph of a young uh, Blackfoot uh, dressed girl, uh, Crow Indian Blackfoot dressed girl, uh, holding a square mirror. And I'm going to have her having uh, holding that in this hand or else having it laying on her lap. I think I'll probably have it laying on her lap. But... Uh, and if I had not had his resource of research behind it, uh, I would not have been, I would not have known that. So I want to thank Michael Terry for that. All right, let's get busy. Okay, I'm going to put the uh, top of her dress on. It would have just gone about there. All right, the next thing I need to do is make the uh, heavy... Uh, beaded strips that are going to be hanging down her arm. Okay, I'm putting the uh, beads on. It's going to take three rows on the sleeve, but only one row going across the uh, yoke of the uh, dress. And uh, so this is the first row here. There'll be two more, but it ends right there. It doesn't go across the back. 
uh, because uh, I looked at the design of the dress and I'll put up a picture of it here and it shows the back of the dress as having no beadwork or any kind of uh, design. So anyway, it's just a matter of getting the rows of beads exactly the same size and I'm using a serrated edged tool to sort of indicate beadwork. Okay, I'm going to be putting this on here. What I'm doing is working on her arm right now. I want to work out the elbow. Some of this was, is going to be covered by the uh, leather and some of it isn't. And just to make sure that I get the uh, arm in the right shape here, I'm doing the elbow. All right, the uh, edge of the leather sh uh, dress I'm going to form like this with a uh, piece that was going to hang down here like that. Okay, now we'll do the same thing over here that I did over there. Okay, I'm going to cut back a little bit on this uh, one piece there. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I'm just uh, putting the finishing touches on this side for now. There'll be more. But I just wanted to get this uh, to a point where I can move on to the back part of the dress and I'll do that tomorrow. It's been a good day. I must say I'm really happy the way this is turning out. This is turning out a hundred times better than it did the first time I did this piece when it was just a bust. And uh, I noticed things in the uh, photographs of the uh, models that I did not notice the first time I looked at them. And uh, it really does pay to set something aside that you're not happy with and not knowing why you're not happy with it because eventually you find out why you're not happy. All right, everybody, and uh, thank you for watching my video. And if this uh, was enjoyable to you, subscribe to my channel, please. And click the like button or the thumbs up and the bell to receive updates as I make them. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. 
Good night, everybody.